day has finally come here. We, uh, we have no more hands in the versus Claudica. Um, so I just want to go through a few things and I wanted to thank some people. And I want to start off with basically thanking ourselves, which is <laughs> the rest of my human team. You guys were always there for me, always there for each other. And I think that really helped us out to stay strong and, and try to take on the computer. Next up, I want to thank the community. There's a lot of support here. Friends, family, people tuning in. Every time someone tuned in to watch my stream and like tell me afterwards that like, they thought I did a good job or they were happy that they got to see me, um, they just put a smile on my face and made me a little more happy to come back for the next eight to 10 hours. Uh, <laughs> so I want to thank them. I'd like to thank the people at CMU. Uh, you guys, you know, you did a really good job. And like, I, I want to talk a little bit about Quantico briefly, a little bit later, but getting to know each and every one of you, you're all great guys, you're all very smart people, and I'm glad that we got to grow a uh, relationship together. And then finally, I'd like to thank Rivers Casino. Everyone here is awesome. You guys have been so good to us. As well, and I can't say enough good things. So I want to talk a little bit about the match itself. Um, uh, Thomas talked a little bit earlier about some of the pros and some of the cons. And I just wanted to go through, like, kind of on the human side, some things that we thought. And uh, most of the, the strengths that Thomas listed earlier, we we really feel the same. And when he said something. We talked about the balance. That struck a chord with me, because if I had to sum up the strength of Plotico, it's really in that word, balance. Basically, in poker, it's important that you balance a lot of factors. Really, what you're doing is you're trying to solve the problems. Every time you get a kind of okay hand, and they start to get aggressive, you have a problem. <laughs> this was a lot of problems, basically. <laughs> and what you have to do is figure out solutions to your problems that are creative and intelligent. You have to figure out how to map things. As people, we can only do so good of a job of that. We can think about strategies. We can you know, decide, oh, I'll do this with these kinds of hands, and I can do some of these hands, and I'll balance out with these. But we're not perfect. We know that. Quantico is with balance. So the other good things that it did is, I'm sure these guys put in some long hours at the lab because we come back the next day and we're like, all right, we know what's up, we're gonna do this new strategy. And then uh, Claudico had uh, got a little bit better, a little more aggressive, a little more amazing. We're like, oh, he's, uh, he's pushing you around a little more today. <laughs> um, but a lot of the adjustments were very good, even if they weren't based off of the specific things that we were doing. Those elements of the game tree were fixed. And I think you guys, honestly, the second half of the match, it was a lot closer than the first. I don't know exactly the stats, but if I had to, you know, if I had to wager on how the win rate progressed, I think it certainly improved for Quantico as the match went on. And then the last thing I want to say about Quantico as far as the good things are, um, is extremely aggressive and you know, you don't really get put in so many bad spots when you're playing versus people because as people, we have this attachment to money. Uh, we don't really like to risk, you know, 19.25 thousand, and I know that number very well because that's the amount that was risked many times, um, <laughs> to win 700. <laughs> that's not a human thing, that's a computer thing. And uh, I have always tried to incorporate some of those elements into my game more so than I would say the average human does, but yeah, average human, that's so weird to say. Uh, but anyways, average player. Uh, so I've always tried to incorporate those elements more so than the player pool has, but Quantico just takes that to the next level and just goes all out, or maybe really all in constantly. <laughs> uh, as far as some of the, the downsides, and I, I think that over the course of this match, a lot of these things are going to be fixed. But uh, the first one is, in a lot of big hands, we kind of know what's up. Like if, if someone goes all in and it's in a spot where they will have certain holdings, we know these are hands you should call with, these are hands you shouldn't. It's some mix of experience and it's some mix of study, or some part of study, but 
there were at least a few notable hands that I know after talking with the guys, we won't get those gifts should this happen again. So um, that was the first problem. And then the second one, which was also brought up, was card removal. Some elements of that I don't think we fully agreed with as you know, the, on the human team. We felt that that might have been able to be capitalized on a little more successfully, and some of the probability distributions didn't emphasize removal enough. Um, but anyway, I won't bore you with enough of the terminology. So I had a real mix of reactions to the amount one. And someone says, I think I actually had a question earlier, wow, so you guys really clobbered it, 732,000. And I'm like, yeah, that does actually sound like we clobbered it, but that number is only significant in what its win rate is. For example, let's say that this match, instead of being played at 5,100, was played at 50 cent one dollar. This would, the win would be 7,000. No one would really, you know, 7,000, whatever. But if we made the stakes even bigger, like, you know, we made it one under 200, then we won 1.4 million. What a great headline. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what the absolute value is. What is important is the win rate. The win rate for the match is nine big blanks per 100. That's the standard unit of measurement in the human world. I get here and they're talking milli big blanks and what have you, and I didn't know that that was a thing, but it is, so they use milli big blanks. It's pretty much the same thing. That's a fairly close match. I wouldn't say that's you know, a tie. Like I definitely think the humans had the edge, but if you lose at nine big blinds, my win rate versus a lot of the regulars, in fact, most of the regulars in my player pool is higher than that when I play online. So if you want to kind of take this into perspective, the amount lost over 80,000 hands is actually down to a very strong opponent. And as humans, we feel that Quadrico was a very strong opponent. We do. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap this up. Again, thank you everyone for letting us be here, and everyone has been great. Thank you very much.